up fellow Peter Copters? Today we are talking about the Family Guy TikTok pipeline. The most bizarre, decrepit section of the internet. Once you travel down that path, your soul never comes back. If you do manage to survive, you're not the same after. So let's talk about it. There's this little genre that's existed on TikTok for a while now where it's just Family Guy clips on top of the worst mobile gameplay you have ever seen. I mean, the worst the App Store has to offer. The kind of games that were definitely made by some sad guy in his basement over the course of a week. Trying to ride that satisfying trend of purely unoriginal game design. There's this one where there's a knife doing parkour, another where a knife is slicing stuff, and then there's a whole bunch of ones where it's top-down gameplay of something rolling through stuff. The games are super oversaturated and it's like you're watching a baby sensory video. Except you have the unpleasant extra of Quagmire going giggity every so often. If the video below it isn't a game, it's often some other random stolen content that still plays into the satisfying, can't look away appeal. And the worst part of this is that even though I'm aware of what these things do, I've accidentally watched a few for more than 30 seconds, almost in a trance-like state. It's like it's been melting my brain. It is the most mindless, actively anti-intellectual brain rot content, <laughs> but because it is colorful, it pulls you in. I'm convinced they put Walter White's special blend in it. Now you see, this trend of videos has been corrupting people. The Family Guy pipeline has been ensnaring people, claiming victims. What happens is, you get one of these on your For You page, right? You get literally one of them. And then you make the mistake of not instantly scrolling away from it. You make the disastrous mistake of watching it for more than five seconds. And for some reason, even if you don't leave a like on the video or whatever, TikTok will recommend another one. And then your whole For You page very quickly becomes Family Guy clips with awful mobile games. I made a new account for this video because I just wanted to see how long it would take me to get deep into the Family Guy pipeline. So I started by searching and watching a single one of these videos. And then I just scrolled on TikTok normally. And when one of these Family Guy videos would pop up, I watched it for a few seconds and then moved on. It took me like 30 minutes it took me 30 minutes to enter this inescapable trap. It feels like it doesn't happen this rapidly for other content. The algorithm works fast, but Peter Griffin works faster. And see, thing is, once you enter the Family Guy pipeline, you can't leave. It's really hard to. For some reason, this specific type of content is really aggressive on TikTok. It's actually really hard to get these videos to go away and have a normal For You page the average functioning human being would have. So what some people have started doing lately is making intervention videos, trying to get people out of this hell. So they'll always start out as a normal Family Guy clip, but then somebody will pop up calling for you to change your ways and stop spending literal hours watching a knife jump while Peter Griffin laughs. Okay, I don't have long to explain. This could come back any second. Calm down. You're in the Family Guy pipeline. The algorithm showing you every Family Guy clip imaginable, some kind of game or clip happening below, and it's endless. We're trying to get you out. It's going to take time. Now this guy's got a good message. He's a noble soul, fighting for a just cause. Yet some people in his comments are too far gone. The darkness has consumed them. No, put me back in the simulation. Leave me alone. I don't want to get out. Though there are still some trying to cling to their sanity. Please, get me out. I'm starting to like them. I can't hold out much longer. How do I get out? Please help. I've been stuck forever. These people have no clipped out of reality and now must endlessly wander around an empty, winding maze of corridors, each corner they turn, leading them to another Family Guy clip. 
Tom, I am standing here with a shocking news report. It turns out that the Family Guy pipeline has led to people's disappearance. We have lost 9,000 lives to the Peter Griffin backrooms level, and there are still many missing. More on this at 5 o'clock. Another set of videos that have started in the Family Guy pipeline are the jump scare videos. People have now started posting the standard Family Guy clips, but now there's a jump scare in the middle or at the end. You would think this would spark people to see the error of their ways, for them to finally see the light. But alas, they're too far into it. Man, I just want to see Family Guy. I just want to watch Family Guy and eat my damn nuggets. I wanted to watch Family Guy. Can't watch Family Guy in Ohio. Okay, I'm sorry. I will whip out the lowest impression whenever given the chance. That is my truly disturbing personality trait. An illness, if you will. It's chronic. But yeah, these people, these people are upset that their cutaways got interrupted by a cutaway. <laughs> That's all the jump scares are. You just got family guide. Wow, this is just like the time Lois told you to subscribe to my channel. Don't ever ask for likes or subs near the beginning of the video. It looks cheap, it's sad. Now with the Family Guy pipeline, full episodes are pretty much being posted. Not all in one video because that's too long, but like, in separate parts, you can watch a complete episode. So basically, this is the new age of piracy. Family Guy episodes being posted in several parts with soap cutting underneath, on accounts run by bots. Disney Plus better watch out, they got a rival now. You can watch Family Guy on Disney Plus, or apparently you can watch it on TikTok with the free edition of absolutely stunning Game of the Year gameplay. <laughs> absolutely beautiful. Now there are tons of accounts dedicated to posting this specific content. Tons. And I'm pretty sure a lot of them are bots. When you look at the usernames, most of them are keyboard smashes, or just completely unnamed. Ah yes, here is the fine content creator, user 768-321-995-06387. And what's crazy is how successful this all is. These accounts have tons of views. I'm sure the gameplay definitely plays a part in keeping people engaged because it's busy and gives you so many things to look at. But actually, I think the best part of this the reason it's so successful is that it's social watching. I mean, sure you can watch these same Family Guy moments on a streaming service, but you don't have the ability to see what other people think. It can be engaging to read other people's comments on the episode while you watch, even if the majority of the comments are actual NPCs. There's this clip here with Superman in it, and the two top comments are Common Superman W and Typical Superman from Ohio. Like, this is as generic as you can get. The comments are as unique as the content. Now, what does this say about the state of content creation in 2022 and 2023? What does this say about our future? I mean, I don't want to get deep over Family Guy, but I think it's the ultimate reflection of where our attention span and standards are at. You know, sometimes you just want to feel something. You want dopamine. And at the same time, you don't want to be left alone with your thoughts. You can't be, because then once you start thinking, you start feeling regret. Or you start feeling anxious. You start feeling anxious about what you have to do, what you should have done, what you should be doing now. But why think about all that when there's the Peter Copter? When there's Family Guy Jesus? No thoughts, only cutaway gags. It's a time waster. But if you're in the Family Guy pipeline, there is a way out. Trust me on this, you can escape. I get it, I get it, it's hard. When I was 10 years old, I <laughs> accidentally, um, I accidentally memorized the entirety of Family Guy. Uh, I have a confessional on that on my second channel, so I'm no stranger to falling down this hole. Similar to how season 9, episode 2, one minute in, Meg fell down a trap door. I'm no stranger to falling down this. But you gotta pull yourself out of it. Your time is worth more than this. But yeah, thank you all for watching. If you've fallen down the Family Guy pipeline, let me know. And if you like the content and want to stick around on the channel, feel free to do so. I also have social media, merch, and a second channel if you're interested. Thank you all for watching and have a great rest of your day.